Hey all, welcome back. So I've got this uh, HP impact wrench. It's the iTalk version. Um, as you can see, we've got 1600 Newton meters of breakaway torque. There's uh, 2200 RPM, 2800 impacts per minute. And uh, the rest of the specs, I'll tell you, as we've having a, a closer look at the tool itself so i'll get it unboxed i'll show you what comes in the box and what features it's got right so this is everything that you get in the box we'll just put the instruction manual to one side because no one ever reads that we'll start off this is like a, a belt buckle hook thingy that you can uh, screw on to either side of the tool it does come with the screw as well next up we've got this little attachment that goes from your half inch to your quarter inch drive which you know for driving screws bits etc uh, this may be a little bit overkill for putting screws in and what have you but it's nice that it's included and then you've got the tool itself it's uh, it's a big old beast i must admit there's uh, a bit of weight to it it's much bigger than the previous three speed one that i have got you will see that in a in a clip later on i have already given it a bit of a test fortunately i haven't found anything big enough to take full advantage of all this power but that's actually a good thing um <clears throat> yeah it's it's a very nice looking tool like i say it's definitely got plenty of weight behind it um if we uh, have a quick closer look down here you've got your your button for your settings you've got one two three and then auto now if i just read off of the box on setting one you can have a fastening torque of 300 newton meters i don't know what it is unfastening because it do not tell you that information uh, setting two is 600 newton meters of fastening torque setting three is a thousand newton meters of fastening torque and it is 1600 newton meters of unfastening torque and then on your auto that will say for instance you put in your wheel nuts on um, that will fasten them to 120 newton meters and then stop so you know that you're not going to be over tightening stuff if you have it on the auto setting which is quite nice it's always quicker to get stuff on and off with something like this so next up is you've got the actual half inch or it actually says it's 13 mil bit with the tensioner ring rather than the ball that holds the pieces on so i've got a couple of uh impact sockets i'll just put one on and see what it's it's a little bit stiff to get on very minimal wobble on that at all it is a really nice tough fit it's it's really it's really on there you have to really pull it to get it off and push it to get it on it's it's incredibly tight you have to make sure you get it yeah now ah, there we go didn't have it lined up properly but <clears throat> yeah that's uh that's quite a nice feel to it i'll just oh bloody hell yeah as you can see quite tight to get that off so i've got a couple of other things here i've got a impact extension let's see what what this feels like it's not like i said there's not a great deal of movement in that for such a, a long extension 
Um, so, as you can see, it's it's quite impressive that. Oh, right, it is. It is really you, your sockets are not going to fall off. Put it that way. They're definitely not going to fall off of this. Um, it is very heavy though. Well, it's what I noticed as soon as I got it out of the box was just what weightiness was in it. So I'll stick a battery on. I've got uh, one of the new 5 amp batteries. Uh, if you didn't know, these HP and some brushless tools have got the extra two terminals on the back which allows it to well I don't know exactly what it is it's supposed to get a bit more power um, you can get these high energy batteries as well and you'll see that they've got two extra terminals on the back same as these new 5 amp batteries have got it as well your older batteries haven't got that so you know you, they will still work on it but you might not get quite as much power out of it so we're at, we're on setting one at the minute so you have got control of the speed with the trigger we'll try setting two It is a little bit, you, you can kind of hear it jumping up in speeds in stages the more you press the trigger. Yeah, it's got plenty of power and speed in it this thing. That's your auto setting. So what I'll do is I'll uh, I haven't really got anything at home that will show you a good test on this so I'll just quickly go and take a wheel nut off and put it back on again um, and then like I said I have taken it to work and I've tried it out on a, a 30 mil nut you know a 20 mil bolt with a 30 mil nut on it and uh, I tightened it up as hard as I could with a pry bar uh, you know a breaker bar and it got it off no problem which i'll show you a little clip of that in like now right these haven't been off for a while so i'll just try it on full full power ah, easy yeah not an issue at all I'll put it on auto There we go, 120. As soon as it reaches that 120, it stops. I'll just get a little bit more. Yeah, sorted. Right, so I've set up. This is a 20 mil bolt. Um, yeah, 20 mil bolt with a 30 mil nut on it. As you can see, there's a lot of, lot of torque on that so yeah let's see I've got it on setting three which is your ice torque so let's see if it'll get it off oh, easy Right, let's try, see whether this will get that off now. Right, so I've just swapped the end over. Uh, see whether this will uh, remove it. Yeah. So, I know I haven't really got anything to give it a good proper test on at the minute 
Uh, I've had it for like a week or so now. Been trying to find some big and heavy duty to give it a proper test on, but yeah, I can't find out at the minute. So <laughs> you're gonna have to just, you know, make what you want out of the videos that I've managed to get. Uh, like I said, that 30 mil nut, um, I was really pulling on that uh, breaker bar, putting a lot of torque onto it to try and tighten it up as much as possible, but it just came off easy. <laughs> you know, it was just was a, not an issue for it at all. Um, it's definitely a very heavy tool. Um, I don't know how good this belt clip would be because if you're hanging that off of your belt, it's going to pull your trousers down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Unless, unless you've got a really tight belt. Um, but it is a bit of a beast. It's definitely a huge upgrade from the uh, three speed 400 newton meters one that I've had for a few years now. Uh, although that has always done what I've asked of it. You know, it's it's been a good tool itself, but yeah, this this is a right beast. You know, any suspension work or out like that, it's going to be easy. You know, it's going to make easy work of of it. Um, <clears throat> that test that I've just done on the wheel now, that we're using the three amp high energy battery. Um, not an issue with it at all i know when i put them wheels on i did talk talk them to spec i can't remember what something like 170 newton meters or something like that um but they have been on there a fair few months now um and it just they came off as though they were finger tight it's is really an impressive tool um well the lights you've got your three lights on which does help you know if you're working in them tight spaces it's a bit hard to see you can uh, just press trigger get lights on they do last they stay on for what is it like 10 seconds or something like that um i like the auto feature you know for as you saw tightening the wheel nuts up just instantly just stops when it gets tight and you just get another quick bash it'll just take it up to that 120 newton meters um but yeah that's uh pretty much covers this um it is really tight fit putting the uh the sockets on as for this attachment that comes in the box um it's i suppose it's nice to have it you know if this is the only impact tool that you've gonna buy it is nice to have it uh, i wouldn't use it on any other speed other than speed one because it's just gonna snap your bits there's that much power in it um but it will work you know especially if you put in big bolts in in you know like big timbers or something like that i imagine that would be pretty good for it as long as your bits <coughs> can uh, can take it but yeah i'm happy with it i think it's a good purchase i i got this on a on january sale offers i think it's normally like over 200 quid i got it for 119 quid which were a bit of a bargain couldn't resist at that price and i'm glad i did get it because it's going to be getting some use in summer so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful at all, remember hit that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.